there's something you are doing now as a young person that you need ancient wisdom for that the wisdom you have collected in the number of your days does not suffice to carry out that project you must encounter the gray head <laughs> it is the spirit of wisdom all people are just the example of it but there's an actual spirit with god it's called the gray head it can visit you and teach you ancient things by which you can make contemporary things happen this is what i'm trying to show you that there is something called notice it's not the gray hair it's the gray head it's the head the whole head is gray <laughs> yeah you can there's a visitation see i know this realm i have touched it i have tasted it one day on university campus i was face to face with a girl she was demon possessed and i didn't have a lot of experience with demon casting i was a very dangerous prophet with the word of knowledge i mean i've transitioned now i do it for fun sometimes but that's no longer my turf i've left it for others i'm more in the territorial dimensions of the prophetic but then nothing territorial about me it was what if i see you i prophesy that was and that was the joy of my walk with god i had training there i had training in worship and sound mystery but i had no detail on what to do when you're face to face with a lady or a guy who's demon possessed and they are manifesting i had no training i didn't know what to do and there was this demon possessed girl that broke out in my meeting and began to manifest all kinds of strange devils and i didn't know exactly what to do apparently i was face to face with a python leviathan spirit but i had no learning i had no training i didn't i didn't know so i just i just did hope there was fear in my heart but there was still scripture on my tongue and I just faced this demon possessed girl and I was praying and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and and the, the job wasn't done I couldn't get it done I didn't know what to do to get it done so I postponed the session and I said schedule her tomorrow I'll come and see her my 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 goal my plan was to take a fast all day spend time with the Lord and say Lord you've exposed me to something you didn't train me for I was a kid in school and I wanted to fast wait on the Lord. I had lectures that day. I told myself I wasn't going to class. I'll fast when my classmates go out from the room. I'll lock the room. I'll spend the whole day. These demons, because I heard, I heard the sound of the demons when it broke out in my meeting. So, so, some people here were, were in that meeting. They just don't know what was going on. FL was in the meeting. Zoe was in the meeting. Irene was in the meeting. It was a, it was a, it was a school meeting. When this girl began, began to cry out, it was like the voice of 30 grown men small girl i it was echoing from her voice i could not believe that that effect could be created anything outside the keyboard and the mixer but she was producing it you could tell that a legion had made home inside a little girl innocent looking little girl and when i went to sleep i just noticed that i the day i was supposed to fast i woke up sick i was so sick and i didn't know what it was so I had to get something to eat because that was the first thing I thought to do. Okay, no, don't fast again. Just find something to eat. I went to the cafeteria, grabbed something to eat, came back to the room, made tea, tried to eat. I was still in the room. Everybody had gone out. And after I ate sick, I fell into a vision. In the vision, the Holy Spirit played back last night's deliverance session for me. I saw myself in that classroom. I saw the girl all over again. I saw everything she was doing. And I saw everything I was doing. And I saw why it didn't work. And then in the middle of the deliverance, I saw a snake come out from her back, like her chest, lift up its face, open like a cobra, and stung me while I was casting out the devil. And so the sickness I was feeling was the venom from that attack. So I was under, <laughs> it, 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 it felt like a fever, but I was under the attack of that demon I was trying to cast. The moment I saw that vision, then an old man came to me this thing i'm telling you if i tell you to pray it pray it just pray it it's such as we have we are giving to you it's not it's not theology an old man appeared to me and his head was gray. see that's why i picked out for you gray head he had gray hair he had gray beard he was literally covered he was like gandalf the white he was covered there was his eyes were white he was he was gray the whole thing was covered in gray the moment he showed up to me i suddenly appeared in something that looked like 
The very classroom I did that because it was classrooms were using for meetings. I showed up in that vision in the very classroom where I was doing that um, deliverance, but without the people, without the music, without the session, I was the only person sitting down in that class now. And the gray head stood and opened a whiteboard and taught me 10 things you must know to effectively cast out devils. And I think I shared it with them. I told them that I had a visitation and some, some gray head. <laughs> The wisdom, the wisdom. See, there was power. Power was not the problem. I told you I already had dimensions of the prophetic. The problem was the wisdom with which to administrate that power. And this gray head showed up, opened a, opened a marker and said he was going to teach me 10 things to know. To cast out devils. Let me tell you what will shock you. Out of everything he taught me, I can in my body right now to call them out i only remember two the remaining eight were not lessons they were impartations i saw all ten but i only remember two because only two of them were lessons. this is what the school of wisdom is some things are taught to you but the 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 access point the the destination of that teaching is not your mind so it doesn't stun your consciousness it's your spirit so you may not remember it, but you can demonstrate it. Because it was the gray head. Everybody stand to your feet. There is a wisdom by which God wants you to do this thing that you call life. There is a wisdom. I know you are strong. I know you've done the maths. I know that, I know that your, pro your projections are accurate. But there is such beauty that only comes from the gray head lift one hand and ask for a visitation of the wisdom of god i will give you one minute to shape the next one year you have 58 seconds left if the story i told you is true and if this scripture is true and it is the word of the lord for every task receive a visitation of the gray head the gray head the beauty of the old the gray head that the Lord will make you a young ancient armed with wisdom let there be no riddle you cannot solve let there be no doubt you cannot dissolve let there be no problem you cannot answer let the gray head come to you you have 30 seconds more Jesus, 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 son of David. Jesus, Jesus. For it has pleased the Father to reveal this thing to babes and to sucklings and to deny the prudent and the wise. Reveal it to babes, Lord. Reveal that wisdom to suckling God. Reveal it. We come to you as children in your hand. It has pleased you. It has pleased you. The Bible says Jesus rejoiced in the spirit because it has pleased the Father to reveal the mysteries to children. Hey! There is a wisdom. There is a wisdom for this thing we call life. There is a visitation of the gray head. The gray head. You will have the visitations in the night. You will have the visitations in the day. You will have it in your sleep. You will have it in your wake. You will have it in your mind. You will have it in conversations. It will appear to you. Can you cry out? 15 seconds and your one minute will be over. We rise by light. We rise by wisdom. We rise by revelation. We rise by epignosis. We arise by, we arise by, we arise by revealed truths. Truths that men don't teach men. Only God gives. That's the visitation. That is the visitation happening already.